Hi, my name is Ravni. I'm an electrical engineering student. And I'm John Harvey, a computer engineering student here at Louisiana State, State University. University. We're, We're proud, proud members, members of IEEE. We give IEEE USA and all of its affiliates rights to our 90 second video. Hey John, what's up? Oh, not too much. Are you doing anything? How would you feel if your cell phone was taken away? Or your TV. Or your computer. Or even electricity. It's probably pretty sad. You go crazy without these things, right? Well, these and many other comforts were invented by engineers. Daily, engineers work hard to provide you and your family with these comforts. Daily, engineers are making a, a world, world of difference. difference. Did you know that in old days, pigeons were used by the Greeks to send messages such as the outcome of Olympic Games? These days, information is only a call or a text away, but have you ever wondered how the devices like cell phones actually work? Let's ask an engineer and find out. When you make a phone call, your voice is first converted from sound waves into radio waves. These radio waves are received by a nearby cell phone tower, which in turn transmits the signal to other nearby towers until it reaches a tower close to your friend. The signal is picked up by your friend's cell phone and then converted back into sound waves so that your friend can hear your voice. All of this happens in split seconds, thanks to engineers. Engineers have been around for a very, very long time, kind of like this guy. They were around during the pyramids, steam engines, cars, airplanes, and computers. Though there have been many great inventions in the past, many wonderful things are yet to be invented. Engineers like Thomas Edison were the past. We are the present. And, and you, you are, are the future.